Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So this is the third tutorial of our uh, of our competitive coding series. So basically today what we are going to cover, we are going to cover the number theory part 3 that is primality test. And basically in today's tutorial we are going to uh, compare the primality test in O of n complexity versus O of, o, o of root n complexity. So this uh, basically we would start with the uh, coding part. And here you can see that uh, on the right side, I would write the code and on the left side, I would show you the output of the code. So basically, uh, what are prime numbers? Prime numbers uh, are those numbers which have two factors. So basically, they have two factors. One is, the num one is the number one and the number itself. So number itself is the second uh, a factor of it. So basically, they have two factors one is a one is the numeric one and then another is the number itself so how can we find the prime numbers basically we can uh, start with uh, two approaches one approach is this one approach one that we find the factors of the number and then we check for it so we can do it in o of n complexity okay and another approach I will tell you that is an efficient approach. So basically that is efficient approach because uh, it helps you to cover the base cases plus uh, approach 2 which I am going to tell you uh, and it helps you to cover the base cases and uh, uh, it also gives you a hint in O of 1 complexity. So base case plus hint O of 1 complexity then if we proceed with that approach again, uh, like if we further proceed with that approach, so we at at most get a cost of O of n, sorry O of root n complexity. Basically, we would guess uh, get the base cases plus hint in O of one complexity. So if we if we uh, like if we are able to proceed with that, if we get a result with that, so basically we would cover with that in O of one. If we further proceed, then at cost of max maximum cost of the function would be time complexity would be o of root n okay so that's pretty good uh, in terms of efficiency uh, with respect to approach one so primality test is very important uh, so let's get start with this so define uh, i'll type uh, what let me type approach one and i would pass this and next I would define is approach okay I, I would even pass this then we would complete these functions so let's start with this so what we can do uh, we can do test cases is int input then we can have a, a while loop for the number of test cases while t t is equal to t minus 1 then we would have a number here. We would have a number with us that is n is equal to int input. Okay, so we would take the uh, input. Then uh, we would uh, uh, we would say print approach one. Okay, I would correct the above st function statement approach one of n. Then print approach of n okay so for this uh, let me do this this should be an n this is 2 and this is 1 and n so let's get start with the approach 1 so, so for that you can see that we have approach 1 here so what we can do so we take uh, divisor count let divisor count is equal to 0 and that for what we are going to for i in range 1 to n plus 1 uh, so basically we for loop from 1 to n so basically these are close brackets mean that that means that are inclusive included in nature inclusive in nature so if n modulo i is equal to 0 okay then and what we have we have count plus equal to 1 okay so if n modulo i is equal to 0, uh, then count plus equal to 1. So basically we are going to increase the diff count. Diff count plus equal to 1. 
okay so when after the getting the diff count devices count so basically we need to check that only there are uh, two factors so i mainly there are two divisors if diff count is equal to 2 then return true yes else return false okay so for this and uh, before this i can uh, add a statement here int div count okay so let me check with this and uh, let me uh, run this function I'll, for the for the uh, for the timing i'll comment this out so so i'll start with the split screen yes so now i'll take five test case uh, let me take two test cases let me type 12 so uh, 12 has six factors so let me check one is factor is one then another is two then three then four then six and twelve yeah so these were the six factors in it and let me type five so five has two factors that is true so let me run it again with few more test cases i'll take three more test cases one is 23 so yes 23 has two factors so yes it is a prime number one and 23 are the two factors then let me take 24 24 has eight factors that is one two three four six eight 12 and 24 yeah those are the eight factors so let me take another number uh that is uh 53 53 has two factors so it has a uh yeah so it is a prime number yes but uh, i'll have a uh, efficient approach than this one what you can have on your side that you can uh, see this is going to be some efficient approach so i'll comment this out now i will go with the another approach first I'll cover the base cases if n is equal to 0 or n equal equal to 1 so uh, return false so how much time complexity does this one per hint take this takes a o of 1 okay then if n equal equal to 2 or n equal equal to 3 this takes again o of 1 o of 1 big o of 1 time complexity because all, uh, all the operations or if conditions to only take o of 1 com time complexity so basically here you can see that this can be done in o of 1 time complexity so next i would go then return so this would be a so because basically 2 and 3 are prime numbers so we would return true okay now Another, another operation we are going to do in O of 1 time complexity is this this one if n modulo b no if n modulo 2 is equal to 0 or n modulo 3 is equal to 0 then we know this is this won't be a prime number yes yes so this won't be a prime number any number divisible by 2 or 3 won't be a prime number because any number will be divisible by 1 and the number itself plus it has two divisor till now plus if it is divisible by two or three then the divisor count becomes three so it won't be a prime number so we would return false so this was i'm talking about i was i was talking about these three base cases plus hint that these are done in o of one operation so basically o of one o of one then again o of one even after this if we don't get our result desired result if we proceed with this so we only get o of root n complexity and i will divide uh, i will show you how so uh, i'll uh, from math import star okay and i'll share a for loop for i in range so after two and three which is the next prime number five okay then sqrt square root of n square root of n and I will take it as, as a floor. So I will do int or you can do floor. Int square root of n plus 1. So this would for loop from 1 to root n. Okay. Then if n modulo i is equal to 0 or n modulo n modulo i plus 
2 is equal to 0 so basically if you start with 5 like the same condition goes like 2 was the first prime number then 3 so we checked for 2 and 3 but when we start from the then we have already checked for 2 and 3 we start with the next prime number that is 5 when we start with the 5 when we start with 5 then we start with a uh, check with, with the 5 and 7 then again something like this because we check with 5 and 7 we are trying to again make a relation in the such a way if this is 0 and even this is 0 then we would return false the same case what I'm trying to I'm explaining with the base case like for the one we did with the 2 and 3 like first 2 is the first prime number and 3 is the next then return false then we will start with the next prime number that is uh, 5 if n modulo i that is 5 and n modulo i plus 2 is equal to 7 if divisible of 5, 5 and 7 then again return forward because already a number would be divisible by with the 1 and the number itself and if it is next divisible by, by, by either 5 or either 7 then diff count would be equal to 3 then the diff count is 3 then it is not a prime number then we return false and in the end after so many conditions if this doesn't work then it is a prime number then we return so we return true so here you can see so this would this is a more efficient approach we have so here you can see this is much much of an efficient approach so i would click give you from from math we would import star and we have used in square square root and this is the so let me try this uh, i would comment this and now run the function okay i am having an error let me check def approach to okay I would use this statement on the top from math import star yes so uh, yes now I can run so I would take some test cases let me take six test cases if I do two 2 is the prime number 3 prime number then 53 as prime number then 8 not a prime number then 24 not a prime number uh, let me take another number 19 yes a prime number so here we can see check for the prime numbers so basically so this was the case where you can see uh, that that uh, that uh, 53 I guess uh, yes it is a prime number because 53 doesn't have any factors so yes we are done with this uh, tutorial so this was an efficient approach to look for prime numbers so basically uh, what I wanted to tell you that approach 2 was approach 2 was more efficient more, this is a, is a more efficient approach so you can carry on with this approach so thank you guys thank you so much and then uh, so we will carry on with the number theory in the next tutorial thank you guys